go to our star, member of the panel, Regina. Okay, Regina, you can go ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon once more. Okay, so I hope all of you are fine. My name is Regina Mlai. I am 18 years old, a young girl in STEM. I am a student at Arusha Science Secondary School, pursuing PCM as my combination, physics, chemistry, and advanced mathematics. And I am, I am a young girl in STEM. I also do other co-curricular activities apart from my combination. I take ICDL classes. I do computer programming as well as other science projects. So this day I must to inspire my fellow girls to continue working in STEM as how I am. I know it seems tough for most of you, but it's not tough. It's something that all of us can do. I work with a lot of organizations that also help, help me to grow in STEM. I'd like to recognize the presence of the CEO of Foundation for Upcoming Engineers and Scientists, Mr. Meshak. Please. This is one of the organizations that I work with, and it has enabled me to become who I am today, and it has given me the confidence to move on with them. Um, I also like to recognize the presence of the head of department of science into youth department in the school that I study, Madam Rukia Atibu. <laughs> Together with other organizations like Samanyangu Inspiration and Changemakers Foundation that I volunteer in. So I'd like to tell you a short story about me in STEM. I took science subjects in Form 3. Mm, one thing, one day that I'll become an engineer and somebody great in future. I thank God that I passed very well in my Form 4, my form four national, national examinations. And I, it was time now to go for advanced education. So when time came to go for advanced education, I was searching for a school that I'll be able to do much more practicals I'll be able to feel that I am really into staying more than the normal cramming and the theories we were used to. So because I was already into contact with a lot of people, because I was already working with a lot of organizations, I applied at the United World Colleges, UWC, for a scholarship to, to go for an IB diploma program. Um, after I applied there, I had to go through several interviews, online interviews together with physical interviews, I thank God that I also did very well in the interviews, but unfortunately, it was the time of Corona, so they could not fund me fully. It was a very shocking moment. I mean, all my entire ordinary level, I've been working, thinking that a time will come, I'm going to study at United Black Colleges, I'm going to be a student in an international school, but I did not manage. I remember my dad telling me this, Mwana, Unataka ni use nyumba ya nyumba yuko kwenda nini ni kupeleka kwenye shule ambapo unataka usome au sasa kabii when you find a second alternative it was a very tough moment for me because i had already invested i had all my hopes in that place and i could not make it happen so i searched for another school instead and i went to Arusha science and i literally thank god that i'm in Arusha science because it's actually the place that i was meant to be in it's a place where I have got to discover that I have a lot of potentials in me. It's a place that gave me the courage and the motivation and the confidence that I can do a lot of things. I can, I can become somebody else greater in the future. When I was choosing to my combination specifically, I come from a family of four, four children. I have three brothers. All of them took science combinations in their advanced level. And when it came to my turn, my dad asked me once again, what combination are you going to take? I said, I'm going to take PCM. And he told me, why PCM and not just go for something like arts or business? You know you are a lady. You, you fit if you become an accountant or a lawyer. I'd like to see you working like your aunt in Stanwick Bank, somewhere in Sierra D.B. like your uncle. So that's what I want to see from you. And I told my dad, no, it's not my passion. I want to go for science. And he was like, why? Then I decided to prove him wrong. After a time, he decided to accept me to go for sciences, but he wanted me to take PCB instead of PCM. He thought I would, it would have been better if I would become a doctor. He thought, he thought that I fit in the field of medicine more than engineering. So I remember just still after Corona, when Tanzania and Kenya had a certain conflict in the border. 
So we were not allowed to transport. We, my parents are business, are business people, but we are also farmers. So he was not able to transport most of his products from Tanzania to Kenya. I remember we had a very great loss and he was telling the entire family about it. I have incurred this loss and how am I going to solve this problem and stuff like that. Then I told my dad, you farm oranges, yes, we sell them in, to, to abroad to Kenya and in Tanzania, but if you allow me to pursue my dream and become a chemical engineer, I'm going to help you get out of this, get out of this zone. And he was like, how are you going to do it? I told my dad, if I become a chemical engineer, I'm going to act my very best to make sure that I, I, I make a citric acid manufacture plant around the place there. Then we'll be able to buy the oranges from our farm because it's a very big farm. It's in Mkata, in Tanga region. We'll also be able to buy oranges and lemons from the entire community around there. And then we'll manufacture them into citrus acid and we will export it to other countries. So that way, it will become something better for the family. We, have, we already have invested an interest. Then he thought I could not do it. I wrote a very nice proposal about it, and I sent it to him. He, had, he showed it to some of his friends and they thought so. They were motivated, they thought I did, and they told, they told him, yes, let the girl go for what she wants. So here I am today, I'm to science, doing my PCM as my combination. So most of you guys would, would ask, why STEM? Why, don't, why, why shouldn't you go for business or law or for something else? And why choose them? Um, researchers have proved that only 28% of girls today are in STEM. It's very shocking. We cover more than half of the population in the world, and yet very few of us get motivated to go for STEM. So it's something that all of us should have that call from inside that you are called to serve a greater purpose in life. You are able to solve the challenges that are facing us. We see global warming problems every day. We see people getting tough times with how to, with agriculture, for instance. Why, 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 should it be, why should it be the ones to solve the problem? So if you just feel that call from within yourself, you are able to solve the problem. So you may also ask me, what made me, what made me stable in STEM until this day? Mm, my first criteria was standing for myself. Whenever I, whenever I thought that this was the right thing, I did whatever I could do to prove the society wrong, to put them down and tell them that I am going for it and I am able. Yes, like how I told you the story about I and my dad. Also, demonstrate that the same can be done. It's like creating luck for yourself. You cannot just sit there for a whole day thinking that I'm going to be that one engineer one time. I'm going to be a somebody doing something in mechatronics. I'm going to become a medical doctor without taking real initiatives of doing what you want to do. If you're planning to become a medical doctor, why during your holidays, right? Why as a girl, as a young student, try visiting different hospitals. Try getting contact of people, of medical doctors you know around the place. Ask them how they, how they made, managed in their fields. Ask them how, what they do to become what they, are, any, what they have done until now that they are the people we see them. So that way, it's, you are creating love for yourself. You are paving a path for yourself to get to places you want to be. Also, I'd like to tell you girls that STEM is not only about getting good grades in class. It's about doing. Whenever I, I, as I pass through different scholarship opportunities, you can even ask the U.S. Embassies today, they don't only focus on your academic excellence. They want to see what, what else are you. If I remove that division one of 0.3 that you have, that one of 0.4, that one of 0.7 that you acquired in 0.4, what else are you? What else can you be? What else the society can benefit from you as a girl and as a young woman in STEM? So volunteering and community outreach would be a better way to answer that question. Try going for different charity events. Try working with different organizations. Try putting yourself in, a, in different standards compared to what everyone else is doing. Um, I also accept that failures and mistakes are always there, but whatever challenges that come your way, remember the goal. Think of why you started. Think of why you are doing what you are doing. If you remember the goal, you are not to be able to face down. You be you face down the bullies. You face down all those discouragements that you receive. So try try your best and try to become what you think you are going to become to be because you are better off than anyone else. And remember, when one door closes. You have two options. Either keep moving or give up. 
either prove them wrong or follow what they are telling you. So I'd advise you, you prove people wrong on what they think you are and keep moving. Um, there is, we are, the, um, if, you, if you look on STEM, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, but from all the former speakers, they have been speaking about science, engineering, mathematics. Somehow they have forgotten about technology. So try leveraging yourself in the digital era. We are living in a different era right now where everything is on media. We have social media accounts. How many of you have Instagram accounts here? How many of you are on WhatsApp? How many of you are on Facebook? But do you use the social media sites for product things? Or we use social media sites to post our photos when we went to Mount Mary Hotel, when I had a visit to this park with my friends, when I went to Pizza Hut with my friends and we had that fun time. Why don't you use that social media account to broadcast what you are doing? Start from the very smallest, the very smallest steps. Try collecting even the people around your village. I mean the, the children there. If you want to become perhaps an engineer, teach them how robotics work. Teach them how they can manufacture things just with the normal things we have in the environment. Then take pictures of those and post them. Create accounts in, in important places like emails and LinkedIn and post every step of your achievement. And that way you can become somebody better. You will get people to find you, you will get people to support everything that you're planning to do. So that's another way of getting into what you want to be. Also, fight discrimination. Um, girls in the recent world, we have been told that you can't do better in math, you can't do better in physics, you can't do better in chemistry, but work hard and prove them wrong. Show them that we girls can do even much more better off than them. The four results of 2022 literally inspired me, the ones of 2021, I mean. Almost the entire top 10 was covered by girls, together with the ones of form 2. We are covered with girls. We had only like two or three boys in the best 10 students. So that's evidence that we girls can move. And if we look at what those girls are pursuing, most of them are from St. Francis. They are all taking science combinations. So that means if you are a girl in STEM, then you are able to make it happen. Also, use your time wisely. Mm, most of us, we, 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 we use our time not in the efficient and most, not in the appropriate way. We don't spend our holidays, we don't maximize the little time we have. Instead of spending your entire holiday of five weeks or four weeks, just having fun, chatting and all that, seek for opportunities, try new things, try to learn simple, simple soft skills that will help you and will advance you in your careers that you want to become. So I'd like to tell you that we all start from somewhere, but it's where we end that counts. And we are different girls. We, are, we, can, we can choose to become what we want to become. We can choose to become good girls, we can choose to become average, we can, we can choose to become great in the future, but what makes us unique is what we choose to become, and it will be better if you choose to become different from what everyone else is doing. Thank you for listening. Please, please, let us all stand and give Regina a standing ovation. Thank you.